everyone, I'm Deanda and welcome to the weekend edition of the vlog. Today is Friday the 24th of August and that is a big deal for me. So today is my one year YouTube anniversary. Is that a thing or did I just make it up or do other people say it? I don't know. But anyway, I'm really excited because it's, because it's my one year YouTube anniversary. I uploaded my very first video. 365 days ago. On the other side of the door is my laundry room and the washer is like shaking and rattling and I hope you can't hear that, but if you can, sorry. I'm so excited guys. I sat down in front of my camera on this phone, my iPhone 6S. Yeah, my iPhone 6S and I was like, hi guys, I'm Deanda. Hi everyone, I am Deanda and thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. Like, I don't remember what I said, but I feel like I've come, I've become more comfortable in front of the camera ever since then and hopefully my videos have gotten better and I'm just really excited that I have stuck with this for a whole entire 365 days. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's my YouTube anniversary, and this week has been a really good week. It's been kind of long and it's a little hard getting back into the swing of having to go to work every day. Today at the end of the day I gave everyone a, uh, a treat because they had more stars than like blank spaces um, and the way they get that is I use the whole brain teaching scoreboard so if there are more smileys than frownies at the end of the day they get a star and by Friday if there are more stars than not um, they get a treat and so I went, I rushed out to Target. I was gonna grab some candy, but I was like, no, let me get a sweet treat that is healthy. So I grabbed strawberries, and um, when we got back, I was getting ready to give it to them, and I was like, let's see if you guys can guess what it is. And so I, I told them, ask a question about the property of matter like, you know, ask about the texture, is it rough, is it smooth, is it round, is it small? So they were asking all those kind of questions, and they didn't come up with it. And then I told them, okay, you know, you now that you've, you've asked about the properties of matter now you can ask like is it a cupcake is it you know pretzels or whatever so they're guessing 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 and then I was like actually guys it's not any of these things and it's a healthy snack and you should just see like the expression <laughs> on some of their faces like one girl her entire countenance just completely fell she was like healthy snack <laughs> and she didn't say anything but just her face said it all it was so funny and I was like I wish you could have seen your face right now because that was really funny the way your face changed when I told you that I got a healthy snack. So nobody guessed that it was strawberries, but um, that's what it was and I gave it to them and some of them were upset. I only eat strawberries with sugar on them. And um, so some of the students who are like, I don't like strawberries, I they after a while they're like, well, I'll just try one. And they ended up liking them, so I was really happy about that. And then they were asking for more, which is a good thing. Somebody was like, can you go to the teacher's lounge and see if there's some sugar in there? <laughs> and I was like, no guys, this is supposed to be a healthy snack. We're not putting sugar on the strawberries. Anyway, that's how the day ended today. And tonight, like I'm in this getup. <laughs> I have this scarf on my head because tonight at church was our dream team night. So the people who volunteer in our church is what we call the dream team. So like if you're an usher or if you work with the kids, um, if you are on the praise team or on the choir, those are the folks that that are called the dream team and so our pastors like put on a dream team celebration or party night. Um, I don't remember the exact wording of like specifically what it's called, but it was appreciation. That's what it is, not celebration, appreciation. So they put on an appreciation for the Dream Team and it was 70s theme, so everyone had on like their big afro and they came out and there were lots of different photo booths and it was actually more like a show. So everybody's in the sanctuary sitting down and there was a host of the show. So my husband was actually the host and he was so funny, guys. He did such an outstanding job. That's the funny part. They picked the person born in the 80s to host the 70s party. Anyway, we're going on to a contest, and we got some different categories, so my main man, Wayne, Wayne is going to help me out. Y'all give it up for Wayne. And um, they did different contests for like who has the biggest afro, the biggest bell bottoms. There was um, the Ike and Tina Turner and their like Dreamettes group. There's just lots of different um, like acts like that, and then we had a 
comedian come, Mark Gregory. And so afterward, there was like a Soul Train line at the end and then outside they had food. So it was catered by Bono's, which I love Bono's. So that was a nice surprise. Side note, Bono's is a restaurant where Kevin and I went on our very first date. And so that's why bring it full circle. <laughs> That's why I have on this get up. And I actually was going to not go because it didn't start until 7.30. And I thought it started at seven and I got there a little bit after seven. And when I realized that there weren't that many people there, I was like, what time does this thing start? Cause I thought it was late, but I was actually early because I had my timing wrong. So, and I didn't have a, a 70s outfit prepared and I was gonna just wear what I had on at school today, just jeans and a white t-shirt. Um, real stylish, right? <laughs> Very fashionable. I was looking in my closet, I was like, what can I wear? And I just grabbed this dress, which um, the sleeves are like this. There, it's actually a long sleeve dress and it's just kind of flowy. I just threw on this scarf. So it came together really quickly. Uh, and I'm so glad that I went because I was sitting down at home and I was just like, Ian, we have to go. We have to go support daddy because he's hosting. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I've been talking a lot. I will see you all tomorrow. Today is Saturday and I just laid Ian down for his nap. So I'm going to run to the bathroom and wash my hair as quickly as I can because whenever I try to wash my hair while he's sleeping, it never fails. It's like he always, except for today, <laughs> uh, positive faith confession, he always all the other times wakes up. So I'm gonna go do that. I was working on the budget earlier today and Kevin's out getting his hair cut. So when he gets back, I guess we'll come up with a master plan of what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. So just wanted to check in. I'll chat with you guys later. <laughs> All right, so it's 617 now. Finally got my hair finished. I just did some twists on the top, a little bun on the side, and we're good to go. So Kevin and I were just making our meal plan for the upcoming week, which um, we usually don't plan it out together. So it was nice to have a little extra help. Don't have to worry, cause baby there ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, baby. Daddy will sing you a song. Uh. Sunday now it's probably a little after 10 and I'm going to get ready to end out the vlog here thanks a bunch for following along with me this weekend I wanted to vlog a little bit more today but I just the time got away from me and uh, it just didn't happen the peak of the weekend was actually grocery shopping with Kevin I sat down and I talked to him yesterday like babe we are spending way too much money eating out I'm gonna hand you the calculator for the month of August pull up the online banking and I want you to crunch the numbers so that you actually realize the amount of money that we're spending on eating out when we also spend um, maybe about $400 a month 
purchasing groceries so it's been crazy so I think he really got it this weekend and he helped me plan out the meals for the entire week we went grocery shopping together at Aldi and I'm just so grateful for that and I hope that you enjoyed my weekend vlog thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all the next time